Kirstie from Once Upon an Artist. I'm just making this video today because I know when I first started spray painting I had a lot of questions and the tutorials are wonderful but there's not really one video that I found that kind of just goes through exactly what you'll need just to get started. So I figured I'd make that for you today. So the first thing you're going to need is a face mask. I got mine from Home Depot and it was about $30. Um, you can get them from any hardware store. And it would just go on this like this. Okay. And normally while I'm spray painting, I will leave it around my neck. So that way, when I start to notice that I need it, I just pull it up. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a table. Make sure it's a table you don't love love or that you're going to use solely for painting because as you can see here, my table is absolutely filthy. <laughs> uh, my table I found at Walmart um, for $60 but it just depends on what you think you'll need. You could get a smaller table, you can use one that you already have lying around the house. The next thing you're gonna need is paint. Um, I use Rust-Oleum and Krylon. Ugh. My only tip for the paint is when I get all of my new paint, like you can see here, I take all of my caps off, and then when I do a spray painting session, I just use one cap for the whole session. So I would start spray painting, I would switch it over to my next paint, and the next one that way, when I start the next time, I just throw away this dirty cap and I use one of my clean caps. As far as the paint goes for pricing, my Rust-Oleum is about $4.24, I believe. Um, actually, I'm sorry, these were cheaper. They were actually $3.96 this time. And then the Krylon is about $4.24, I think. So for me to get what you see here, which is two, four, six, eight, nine cans of spray paint, it was a little under $40. Um, and that's my usual run. I don't get every single color, I just get what I've run out of. And then an extra black, white, and clear always. Um, to start, I wouldn't recommend getting all of the colors. I would definitely recommend getting black, white, clear. And then if you'd like to try some colors, you can do your first spray painting with just those three. I've done a couple of just black and whites. Just to get started, that's what I would recommend for you. Um, and then from there, just add on the colors that you'd like. Next thing you're going to need is, you're going to need poster board or canvas. So I actually have both here. The poster board I get from Dollar Tree. It's a 22 by 28 inch giant poster board and then I cut them down to size with my steel square. Just make sure that you double and triple check your measurements before you cut it and then I use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. The steel square and the X-Acto knife, I've got both from Walmart. I believe the steel square was $13. I don't remember. I got it a year ago. Um, I'm sure you can find cheap steel squares, but I would say the most is going to be about $13. And then my X-Acto knife was about $5. Um, the tips are cheaper, so once you have an X-Acto knife, I would just buy the tips for the replacement. Um, the poster board is wonderful to start spray painting on because it is so cheap that when you're practicing you won't feel as guilty throwing it away, whereas the canvases cost me about one to two dollars a piece. I get them all from Michaels. Um, I love the Artist Loft canvases, but these you're going to feel a little more guilty when you have to throw them away and it's just a much bigger waste. So I would definitely start spray painting on the uh, poster board just to practice. So you're going to need newspaper to make texture, whether it is your planets, your hills, um, maybe like your galaxies. Um, and I always just recommend that you use newspaper and not magazine, just because the newspaper soaks up the paint, whereas the magazine just kind of pushes it around. It doesn't soak it up as well. You're going to need a few scrapers. So this is my favorite. It's kind of like a, a tipped, smaller scraper. These are the larger ones that I use more for like buildings and things like that. And then of course this one I use for little stars as well. Um, I would just recommend starting with some plastic ones. I think you can get these at the dollar store or at Walmart for just a few dollars. And then from there figure out which ones you like best and then I would order the metal ones. So a lot of spray paint artists start off with planets and I did start off with planets as well. I would recommend using things you have around the house rather than going out to buy them. 
This is a Bath and Body Works candle lid that I already had lying around the house and I just added some tape to the top so that when I do my planets, I'm not trying to pick it up and possibly destroy the outside of the planet. I'm just picking it up with the tape. Then I have this that I bought at the dollar store. So it was a two pack and it's for your burners on your ovens. And I just placed some tape on it. That way it's a nice big planet. And I think the other one was just a, a little bit smaller, but again, at the dollar store. So oven burner, candle lid. I use my coffee cup lids, but these are wonderful for planets. And the only thing I would recommend is make sure the inside of it lays flat on your poster board or canvas. So that way you have a nice clean line around your planet and it's not kind of a faded um, transition from the outside to the planet. You can also use the spray paint can lids as a planet. I would just recommend placing something on it so that it doesn't move around while you're spray painting around it. Some other things that you're going to need are um, weights for your stencils. So once you start cutting stencils, you're going to realize that lacing, for example, if this were my stencil and I placed it down, if I were to spray, this is gonna move a little bit because of the, the blast from the can. So um, I use random, random things. Most spray paint artists use little nuts and things like that and tools. Um, I do have one tool that I have destroyed, but I uh, started painting rocks first. So I have a lot of rocks lying around. So I actually use rocks to hold my stencils down. So you'll see a lot of my videos with rocks. You can use whatever, as long as it works, it doesn't matter. And as long as you don't mind spray painting whatever you're using to hold down your stencils. All right guys, so that was my video. I hope that this was really helpful and maybe you get out there and you actually purchase the items and try it. And it's kind of an inspiration for you because you'll know the price and where to get everything. If you found this video helpful, I really hope that you hit the subscribe button and watch my next video. I'd love to do um, a start to finish how to make a stencil and a start to finish how to ship your art. So if you like this video, again, please just comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you.